Tree identification number eight. In this video, we're going to look at some of the hickories. We've got mockernut hickory. We've got pignut hickory. We've got ash. And then we've got pecan. And last but not least, black walnut. So we're going to start by looking at the hickories that we mentioned right here in the beginning. And the first one on the list is going to be mockernut hickory. Scientific name is Caria tomentosa. And the first thing that you'll notice about the scientific name as well as when you touch the petiole of this leaf is that it's hairy. So Caria tomentosa, tomentosa meaning hairy. Okay, the mockernut hickory has leaves that are roughly eight to 12 inches long. Um, typically seven and nine leaflets. You can see right here there's seven. Sometimes there can be nine. Um, and the terminal leaflet is typically going to be a little larger, though it's not always completely clear to see, but this terminal leaflet at the top um, can be larger than the other leaflets. Um, the mockernut hickory, as you can see some of the nuts on here, has a nut that will end up opening up like so and dropping this guy out. So it's got a, a big hole or thick hole covering this nut um, and that's, that would be the mockernut hickory that will drop out of that. So that is the mockernut hickory. Don't forget that hairy petiole because we're going to see here in a second the difference between that and the pignut hickory. So here we're going to look at the pignut hickory. Okay, This is Caria glabra. Okay, so the glabra, meaning glabrous or smooth on this petiole, it can have five to seven slender leaflets. You can see there's a five right here. Okay. The pignut hickory, um, again, has uh, the same type of nut as the mockernut hickory, but it is slightly different in shape, as you can see this pear shape to the pignut hickory. Okay. The leaves themselves are roughly 8 to 12 inches in length, okay, like we said, and 7 to 9, um, excuse me, 5 to 7 slender leaflets, okay, and that is the pignut hickory. Moving on from the hickories, we're going to look at the pecan, okay. Pecan is in the same genus as some of the hickories you see, um, and that is Caria, and the scientific name is Caria illinuensis. Um, leaves, again, are binately compound, and when you're looking at one leaf individually, you can see that they can be anywhere from 12 to 20 inches in length, okay. Um, the big thing about the leaf shape is you can see on these, they actually curve around like so um, and it's known as being sickle shaped so the sickle shaped leaf that tip that curves back around more towards the base um, with that long pointed tip these are starting to wilt just a tad but you can see how they'll curve back around so you can really tell that with the pecan on that sickle shaped leaf um, and then of course it has the pecan that is a nut that's closed by a thin hull that opens up into a four-ridged fruit or nut. Okay, so that's pecan. Caria illinuensis. All right, here we have ash, okay? Fraxinus, and this is uh, speciosa, so we're not gonna get species specific with the ash, um, but as you can see, the ash is a compound leaf that branches the leaves branch opposite one another. Um, if you look right here, you can see that very clearly. Um, all opposite here, opposite here, opposite up here. Okay, so an opposite leaf that is compound, okay, and the leaf itself is eight to 12 inches long. Um, again, five to nine leaflets on there. So right here, you're seeing seven depicted, okay. Um, and typically has a fruit with pointed wings that's three-eighths to an inch and a half long. So, ash. 
One thing uh, also about the ash, is you can see um, leaf scars at the buds. So right here you see a bud coming out. Um, there was a, that bud is on top of a leaf scar where a leaf used to be and was let loose. So that is what is referred to as a leaf scar. Yeah. And the fifth tree we're gonna look at is black walnut. Starting to wilt just a little bit, but still is in pretty good shape. Um, as we can see, the black walnut is another uh, pinnately compound leaf uh, that is 12 to 24 inches in length. Um, as we look at this guy, it's pretty long. Okay, It's got leaflets that are going to be serrated. You can see the serrations on those leaflets. And another distinct characteristic about the black walnut is the terminal leaflet usually aborts itself. So typically there's three leaflets here, all right? You can see that that leaflet on the top is gone. Um, it's actually depicted right there, but most of the leaves themselves will abort that terminal leaflet. You can see the top leaf is gone, the single leaf that's in a leaves of three. Um, and typically there's anywhere from nine to 21 leaflets that can be found on these leaves as a whole. Okay, The fruit is a large nut that is pretty hard. It's got a significant smell to it. I don't think it smells too awfully good, um, but it's got that smell. Eventually it'll drop and it'll be green, but it'll turn black um, eventually. And that is the black walnut fruit. Another distinct feature about the black walnut is it's also got leaf scars. Some people say um, when they look at the leaf scars, they look like a monkey's face or something like that. But this really helps you tell it apart from maybe, say, the pecan when you're trying to differentiate um, the leaf scars and the leaves and things like that. It's got those monkey-shaped, uh, monkey face shaped leaf scars on the stem, but it also, if you're lucky enough to cut into it, has what is known as a chambered pith. Okay, you can see the center of the pith of this stem has got little chambers in it, little air pockets. So that's the chambered pith of the black walnut. So in review, we saw the mockernut hickory. Okay, remember, caria, tomentosa, or hairy petiole, um, and along with that, hickory nut as well. You see how it opens. So the mocker nut hickory. And then we saw another caria with the smooth petiole, caria glabra. So the pig nut hickory, that smooth petiole, and then that pear-shaped fruit or nut. And then we saw caria illinoensis. Um, the big thing about this one, remember, was the leaf tips that curve back around, okay? And this is Caria illinoensis or pecan. And then we saw uh, another compound leaf that was opposite this time, okay? Um, and you can kind of see that lighter green type leaf, um, five to nine leaflets and it was the Fraxinus speciosa, or ash. And then, last but not least, we just went over this guy. Um, again, Juglans nigra, okay, or black walnut. It's got those leaf scars that are significant. Um, the 12 to 24 inch leaf with the serrated leaflets, and then, of course, the chambered pith. So that makes up the five tree identifications for this set.